this is an incredible uh, itinerary. Um, you get you're getting all the high all the high spots, all the high points. Um, you're getting an introduction to secular Israel, which I think is so important now, uh, particularly those in my congregation who know what we've been talking about recently with the elections. Know how much um, stock I put and how much uh, energy we as a movement have put in uh, encouraging secular Judaism to flourish in Israel with our values and our humanistic uh, worldview. The um, the trip, uh, I, what's particularly exciting to me, I had a trip planned uh, that we were going to do, uh, I think we were trying it for 2021, and we all know what happened to that, and it included a lot of visits with uh, people from other organizations and other, um, uh, other uh, migzalim, as they call it, other uh, other groups in Israel, uh, particularly Palestinians and particularly in the West Bank. And I'm so happy to see that some of that is there, uh, quite a bit of it uh, actually, without giving any sacrifice, I must say, to hitting the high points of Jerusalem, uh, the North, uh, it looks like a little bit of Haifa and and, uh, and not uh, giving any short shrift to Tel Aviv, which I've often found to be one of the problems with many of the traditional trips. Uh, Tel Aviv for me is the, um, well, the, my ketuba does not have Jerusalem on it, it has Tel Aviv on it. Let's put it that way. So the plurality of Jerusalem was always here, and some of our major symbols were actually made here. And as you can see, they are very, very similar to each other, and hopefully you will be here on Hanukkah. So illuminating our uh, life, our Jewish life, uh, with many lights is really what this is all about. So the most exciting thing, I believe, will be meeting your and our rabbis here in Jerusalem. Some of them who have been doing magnificent things in Israel and will be able to tell it to you on the spot where you are, what are they doing? What are their congregations like? What are their meetings like? What do they uh, publicly uh, work for, stand for? And certainly the event of the ordination. Hopefully I will uh, get to see all of you there to celebrate 20 years since we began uh, Tumura. On the left-hand side, you see Rabbi Sherwin Wine and uh, Professor Yaakov Malkin ordaining the first rabbis um, uh, that we had. And then on the right-hand side, uh, you see all of our rabbis here in Israel uh, basically waiting for you here. A unique trip in many ways. These are sites that American tourists almost never go to in some cases, and some of them are the sites that everybody goes to. We will see the Western Wall. We will see the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. We'll go to Masada. We'll see the Dead Sea. But these are things that most trips would do, and if this is your first time going to Israel, you'd want to see those sites. And even if you've been to Israel several times, there's more to learn from those sites, from different perspectives and new ways to experience them. But this also is a trip that goes to sites that are not on the general itinerary, the archive of celebratory kibbutz materials that's at Beit HaShita, the, uh, the city of Tel Aviv that, as Jeff said, often gets overlooked in these tourism uh, journeys, a, a multi-ethnic Arab Jewish community center in Haifa that was actually founded by Yaakov Malkin, who helped to found our movement institutions in Israel. Um, three metropolitan areas that are very different in Israel, between Haifa and Jerusalem and Tel Aviv, and also experiencing some nascent urban experiences in the West Bank under the Palestinian Authority in the city of Rawabi. So it really is a, um, a fascinating, diverse trip that sees the highlights and sees the off-the-beaten-path things in one trip. The second part about the trip I find very important is that we secular and humanistic Jews, even here in diaspora, whatever that means these days, um, we are we say we're connected to Jewish peoplehood and Jewish culture. Well, you're hard pressed to find a more diverse and expressive collection of the varieties of Jewish peoplehood than you'll find in Israel, all in one place in a relatively small area. It's about the size of New Jersey, but you'll see the, the diversity of Ethiopian Jews, North African Jews, Iraqi Jews, Central Asian Jews, European Jews, Russian Jews, American Jews. And we've all come together in this context to argue with each other, but also to create together and to create next to each other and to combine these cultures together. You'll see their foods, you'll hear their music, you'll experience their, uh, their diverse cultures. And if we are connected to Jewish peoplehood and Jewish culture, then this should be a part of our curriculum. This is part of our expression of our identity. And you will find this a very meaningful, if a secular Jewish experience, to be part of this trip and to have that experience. 